So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am Dr. Mukul Jain. I am a pediatric dentist, a founder of the company Kidzy Dental. And today my topic is regarding the BioFlex crowns. Before that, I would like to th uh, thank Dr. Muthu sir for this opportunity and the Center for Early Childhood Caries Research for having this online conference every year. And this is the best way to share the knowledge. So the illiterate of this 21st century is not someone who cannot read and write, but who is not ready to learn new things, unlearn the things which have been done since many years and try to relearn things and to bring the best into their practice and make the best treatment options available in their practice. So definitely I cannot say that I don't have any commercial interest. My company is one of the sponsor of this program, but then I would make your next 15 to 20 minutes uh, fruitful and I will see to it that you learn one new treatment option in your day-to-day -day pediatric dental practice. So we need full coverage crown in pediatric dentistry to bring the form and function back, to bring the smile back and to bring the chewing efficiency back. As a pediatric dentist, as a clinician, when you tell the parent that I gave a crown to protect my pulpectomy or a pulpotomy, I don't want the infection to come back. The parents will get convinced for that dental crown treatment. So this is why you need a full coverage restoration in pediatric dentistry to bring the form, function and to protect your tooth. We have various options like stainless steel crown, the layered crowns, the strip crowns, zirconium crowns and the topic of discussion today is the bioflex crown. So when you heard about a flexible tooth color pediatric crown, the first question in your mind was what material of choice it is. If it is flexible, will it be durable in my patient's mouth? And the most important, what is the cost of this crown? So in today's lecture, I will tell you about all these things. So we had a gold standard that is a stainless steel crown with all the good properties, ease of doing. It is a gold standard. Your examination is on this stainless steel crown. Only problem with the stainless steel crown is they are not aesthetic. Then came the zirconia crowns, which were very aesthetic, biocompatible. But the problem with the zirconium crown were they were very aggressive in preparation. You need two millimeter of subgingival preparation to do a zirconia crown. So the answer to this is a bioflex crown, which is the world's first flexible, aesthetic and durable pediatric crown. It is US FDA approved. We are following all the ISO 13485 standards to manufacture it and many ongoing studies for biocompatibility, weight testing, color stability and cement retention have been done in US and in India. So what it is made up of? It is made up of a hybrid polymer resin. So the exact composition of this crown, even my wife doesn't know till date, it's a proprietary material. Just for your information, it's a hybrid resin polymer. It's not a single polymer and there is no BIS GMA in this crown. We did chewing simulator testing where good results were seen. So we replicated eight years of chewing in eight days on this chewing simulator and we compared it with a stainless steel crown. Even finite element analysis showed good results when we compared with zirconia crown and stainless steel crown and a bioflex crown could allow less amount of stresses to the dentine and the enamel so and the periodontium. So this crown was better than a stainless steel crown and a zirconia crown in comparison to transferring of stresses from the crown to the dentine and periodontium. It has a feature called a self-adaptable nature. So you cannot keep this crown high in occlusion, but whenever there is some high point, this crown will self-adapt and it will settle the occlusion without any kind of abrasion. The fit of this crown. So it is not as active like your stainless steel crown. At the same time, it is not loose like your zirconia crown. So this is the fit of this crown. Even you can you 
hear a chuck sound if the crown preparation is perfect and you have selected the right size of the crown you can trim the crown using the crown trimming scissors you can contour the crown using the hoe plier you can squeeze this crown but we don't recommend crimping this crown because if you crimp the crown there will be some rough margins which can attract the plug you can use the same green stone burr to make the margin smooth if after cutting the crown there are some rough margins cementation all the studies show that your type 1 luting gic the powder liquid gic is the best cement for cementing a bioflex crown you can autoclave these crowns and you can reuse them coming to the technique the most important part the first step is to do the occlusal preparation using a flame shape burr while doing this there will be a rough a sharp margin which will be formed on the occlusal surface so after 1 to 1.5 mm of occlusal preparation you round off the sharp line angle which is formed between the buckle and the occlusal surface after you make the smooth line angle you do the proximal preparation of 0.5 mm using the taper fisher burr after this i check the right size of the crown so in this particular case the crown is buckle lingually shorter it is smaller in size so i take a hose plier and i squeeze the crown to make it elongated buckle palatally and then you can see the crown is perfect mesiodistally and buckle palatally but the buckle margin of the first primary molar is not allowing the crown to go sub gingival so in the next step i round off that buckle bulge which is there and then i try my crown so after i round off the buckle margin the crown will go automatically on its own 0.5 mm sub gingival and you can check the occlusion the occlusion should not be high in case of bioflex crowns after this you cement the crown you floss the interproximal area you remove the residual cement using an explorer you take a radiograph to check for any residual cement so this is how it will look after you cement the crown and you remove the residual cement in the x ray there is an advantage of this crown is only the margins of this crown will be visible in the x ray and you can see your pulp chamber through the crown so if you have done a direct pulp capping indirect pulp capping or a pulpotomy you can see the prognosis of your treatment through the crown in a radiograph so coming to the clinical cases this is a case of an mta pulpotomy done after this this is the preparation a proximal slice of 0.5 mm and an occlusal preparation of 1.5 mm then you check the size of the crown using trial and error method if the size is very big you select a smaller crown if the size is very small but mesiodistally it is perfect then to make the crown size one size bigger and to seed the crown sub gingivally you can cut the crown in the cervical area after this you can cement the crown you clean the interproximal area using a floss this is the immediate post operative this is the occlusion in the same case two more crowns were given in the maxillary arch these were the vital zirconia crown vital bioflex crowns you can even squeeze the crown to make them buckle palatally elongated so these were the immediate post operative pictures in this case if you see nicely the lower e crown was high after cementation and you can see the occlusion has raised on the other side so we followed up the case and in the follow up you can see that the occlusion has settled down on the other side and in a 9 month follow up you can see the occlusion looks perfect and you can see some dimple marks on the crown so these dimple marks are called as self adaptable nature of this crown one more case of lower d and e where two bioflex crowns were given and these were the follow up photographs so these crowns what you are seeing are the prototype crowns which were used for the clinical research so in this crowns we could see that the crowns were yellow in color they were little 
rough because of that they were attracting plaque so when we made the final product we made them more smoother lighter in shade and the anatomy was better which was used in the prototype crown so in this particular case you can see plaque accumulation in the cervical areas so these were the prototype crowns so this is one more case of a one year follow up of the prototype lower d crown one more case of a one year follow up of the maxillary pyoflex first primary molar this is one more case of full mouth rehabilitation using bioflex crown a preformed space maintainer and zirconia crowns in the anterior region so these are few long term follow ups two year follow up of a prototype bioflex crown in the lower arch one more one year six months follow up this is a upper d one year six months follow up this is one year six months follow up of an upper d crown so these are the final crowns which are available in the market which are with a better shade with better anatomy a smooth polished surface and this is one of the case of 6 months follow up of a lower d and e bioflex crown one more long term follow up of one year 6 months this is a case of a class 2 caries where only some occlusal preparation proximal slice was done and a vital bioflex crown was given so here you can see a better shade a highly polished surface of a bioflex crown one more full mouth rehabilitation case after mta pulpotomy tooth colored crowns were given in the lower first primary molar and for the multi surface lesion a full coverage restoration was given using a tooth colored bioflex crown and these are the follow up of one month of the same case some practitioner now are using bioflex crowns of bigger sizes size 6 and 7 in mih cases in young permanent molar as a alternative to your stainless steel crown so these are the results only minimum preparation is required and we are getting good results we are waiting more for next 3 months to complete one year one and a half year follow up and then we will make a separate kit for the young permanent molar some anterior cases dr sanchit have shown some sdf cases in his previous lecture then when the patient is cooperative he is affording for a dent dental treatment you can give a full coverage restoration so one of the option which is minimally invasive so is a bioflex crown it is not as aesthetic like a zirconia crown but it will give you a better result when you compare it with sdf application so these are the results of bioflex crown in the anterior region so now pediatric dentistry is also moving towards minimally invasive dentistry so where you complete your treatment in lesser period of time without giving anesthesia and at a low cost so that will make you one of the best pediatric dentist in your area if you try to give options which are minimally invasive which are pain free at the same time they are affordable this is one more 12 months follow up of an anterior case few cases done in vietnam uh, after sdf application and bioflex crown and these are the results so the past is the stainless steel crown and it will remain a gold standard in dentistry the present and the modern day option is a zirconia crown which has proven itself since the last 10 15 years in pediatric dentistry a excellent aesthetic biocompatible option according to me the future will be a bioflex crown which will give you an ease of doing as a pediatric dentist and which is more important as a pediatric dentist to do things faster and which can be done even in an uncooperative child so i've traveled more than 21 countries now and seen pediatric dentistry closely this is some photographs from egypt from vietnam from iraq south africa from kenya georgia and i would just like to add over here is pediatric dentistry in india is one of the best in the world we are doing everything very nicely there is a lot of healthy competition between us and i could say the sky is the limit over here 
if you take this branch as a passion and do lot of hard work other than clinical practice entrepreneurship research many other fields are there which has lot of scope so in the end i would just like to add over here is when money speaks knowledge will patiently sit and listen but when your knowledge starts speaking money will definitely follow so thank you for this opportunity to share my knowledge thank you muthu sir thank you the department of pediatric dentistry from ramchandra dental college